Hi there, everybody. How's it going? I hope you're doing very well indeed. This is myself, Matty Tomato, right here. Thanks ever so much for tuning in to the EU4 playthrough here with the Random Nation Selector. Hope you guys enjoyed the extra long episode that we did last time uh, because we were settling in here with Friesland. Uh, so we took uh, some provinces here from Holland. We moved our capital to the area as well. And uh, we actually, we, we practically... Uh, more than doubled our development by taking those three provinces and actually we're doing fairly okay here we we're losing money but we we can we're actually because we're got forts up um we are having our cities looted uh we've also got a bunch of advisors so um that's the reason why we're losing money but uh, we're actually doing fairly okay uh we're in this war here we're helping liege take some territory um i mean i can't get there so i can't I can't do anything to help there. I'd like to be able to defend my territory. Uh, unfortunately, the only things we can do is uh, win this siege. Um, so we're kind of stuck here regardless. We're not being attrition, though. Uh, the problem is we keep getting status quos, whereas um, they're progressing over there, which is kind of annoying. Very, very annoying. I was very tempted, actually, just to quickly activate the defensive edict here. Uh, because that would mean that this province is suddenly a lot more difficult to siege. Um, I'm very tempted to just do that because, yeah, it's a pain. Yeah, so now it's they're, they're finding it a little bit harder to siege it now. Um, ooh, 50% cheaper trade efficiency guy. Yeah, we're not going to be able to hire all of these uh, level 2 guys, but it is what it is. A um, little bit tempted um, by this. I was a little bit tempted by this, just to take cheaper loans than the ones we're actually about to take. But, yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh, we might not need to, to be honest, because I think what's going to happen here, I'm hoping... Oh, Cardinal Minister. Yeah, I mean, there's no heretics in this area at this point in time, so uh, we don't really care. Um, so we'll take the Papal Influence and the Stability Cost Modifier as well. Uh, because, of course, we're a republic, so we do not lose stability every time a ruler dies or changes. That's risky. Uh, well done, though. Why didn't you do that earlier? Oh, because Liège checked up. Aha! They checked up to level 6. That's fantastic. And we've just won the siege back here um, of Liège, uh, and the war is over. Um, so there we go. They took a province. They took the province they wanted. And, uh, well, we can get out of that war now. Um, I think they will be asked to surrender that back, though. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, because, of course, Haino, HRE. Uh, they also have the Habsburgs. Oh, my God. Uh, that's kind of interesting. But, uh, it is what it is. We've lost uh, the Conquest CB against Utrecht. Uh, well, we should probably change that. France is at war with Scotland, as we predicted here. Um... Yeah, we thought that would happen. Uh, build a spy network there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was that was not a gain for Scotland, that. That was uh, very, very bad for Scotland. Right, uh, we can take up on admin now. That's fantastic. We're now ahead of time on administrative uh, technology. Pass the De Heretico Combrendo Act. A uh, bit of tax modifier there. Excellent stuff. Um, okay, very, very good. Uh, I quite like Friesland so far. It's going really well. Um, cool, right. What next? Of course, we did talk about playing tall. Um, and actually, now that we're ahead of time on an admin tech, we could probably look into playing a little bit tall here. Um, we could maybe develop up some tax uh, in some of these areas here. Um, that might be quite an interesting thing to do. Um, obviously, we're going to invest into the military ideas uh, to start with. Um, we're going to invest into these. Getting to the morale of armies would be pretty good, actually. Because uh, we don't really have any buffs at this point in time. So, yeah, we could do with uh, some buffs to military. There is one in the idea set with more morale. Um, but otherwise, there's not... Oh, the fort defense is quite nice as well. So that this does play into our hands here. Because if we combine defensive ideas... With our actual idea set. We're going to get some really good fort defense. And we're going to get some really good morale of armies. So um, actually playing tall is not the worst idea in the world here. Um, I think we would uh, we would benefit from playing tall. I'll probably get the encouraged development edict going. 
in both of these states here. And we can start developing up, play a bit tall. Uh, pick wars where we can. Like Utrecht, for example. Uh, yeah, we might be able to pick wars where we can, depending on who's at war with who. And what's happening. Yikes. Um, oh my god. Um, just have to take that away, yeah. Uh, it is what it is. Okay. Um, let's summon the diet. And I'd like... <sighs> Bad. I was really hoping for a develop... Uh... Shit. I was really hoping for a, a developed base tax or base production uh, agenda there, and it didn't arrive. So, seize a bit more land, actually. Crap. That's going to be really annoying. Uh, I mean, we could build more boats, but we don't have the cash. Um, so, we, we might have to just go to war with somebody here for a humiliation war or something. Which is not easy. Uh, East Frisia's awesome general died, but uh, they've gone and allied with France, so. Yeah. Not too, too many good wars, to be honest, at this point in time. Yeah, uh, that territory has not been demanded back. So Liège is actually. Yeah, they're not returning unlawful territory, which is kind of interesting. Um, oof. Wowza. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> Muscovy going in for another battering there. Oh, um, ally with Sweden, Royal Marriage of Sweden, but of course, some trouble there, to be honest, uh, because they, they're going to have some sort of conflict at some point there. Uh, we can now... Oh, no, it's 30, isn't it? I thought it was 25. Because, of course, we're in the HRE. It costs more to... Uh, cost more to fabricate claims. Uh, yeah, some good diplomacy there, actually, for Brabant. Um, yeah, in general, there's... We, we, yeah, we're not particularly... Uh, right, encourage development. And let's start putting some tax money in here. Look at this development cost reduction. Oh, my God. I suppose taking economic ideas would have reduced the cost even further. That's very true. Uh, right, I think we should... Might leave the capital for now. I'll chuck two more into there. And I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to get ahead of time on Diplo Tech as well. And then we can sink Admin and Diplo into these two promises. Because, um, of course, production will be nice anyway. Uh, because that would help with the... Um, that would help with the trade, so that that makes sense to do. Uh, improving with the Ottomans, which is kind of interesting. Uh, let's go back to neighbouring countries then. I'm tempted to flip back, you know. I'm tempted to flip back to economic ideas. Uh, France wants military access. Sure, that's fine. Keep the French happy if we can. Uh, there's an inevitable war here. Uh, that is definitely going to happen. We know that. Um, yeah, there's an inevitable war between these two again. Uh, poor diplomacy, though, for France. Not going to lie. Um, England's actually got very good diplomacy here. Yeah. I think the disadvantage there is England, if they attack France, pull Aragon in. Castile will attack Aragon. I think that's what the potential concern might be there. Salt crisis. Is anybody improving relations with me? Volkgas, Stettin and Rugen. Okay. Okay. Just noticed the papal influence there. Um, excellent. So, um, we already have that modifier. Okay. Royal of Army's yearly prestige. Yearly Republican tradition improve relations. Mercantilism. Diplomatic reputation. 
or the inflation reduction. Oh boy. Um, morale of armies and prestige. I think that's the way we're going to go there. Um, actually, I'm just going to throw um, some more base tax into that, actually. And yeah, uh, obviously, improving base tax improves our monies as well. Um, but I'd like to build a fort here. You are out of that war. That is a, that's a pretty tempting war. That actually is a very tempting war. We'll never be able to get up there, but... Friesland gets lo local fortifications for 10 years. Ooh, nice. Okay. Um, this is a tempting war. If maybe one of these was not willing to join, I would be more inclined... Anti-clericalism. Oof. Pay up. <laughs> right. Um, I think we'll use that money to build two more, two more barks. Keep trying to push for more trade in the uh, in the English Channel trade node here. Uh, and we can take the first idea. Uh, now, this is going to be handy, actually, because this is prestige or army tradition. It used to be prestige. Army tradition from battles now. Okay, fair enough. Okay, that's that's good. Happy with that. Uh, yeah, this... Ah, the papal state would join, but... Not, not going to be able to be much help. This is where having non-local allies is not quite so good. Um... Right, bring home the guy from the Ottomans. We need to refabricate this claim here. We don't need to be improving relations with the Ottomans when we need to be fabricating claims uh, against other people. Um, hmm. Against people in our local area. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm tempted by this war. Yeah, if one of these guys was not willing to join, I would probably go for it. And what I'm kind of hoping, yeah, the truce with Scotland is nearly up here. So what I'm hoping for is England declares war on Scotland, brings those other guys in, and they just decide they don't really want to join the war, or they, they get tired. What I don't want, what I really don't want, or what might actually be okay, I don't know. What I, what I was going to say was I don't want England to declare war against Scotland and call me in. That's what I don't want, but they probably will because, of course, um, I they will want me to take care of the continental holdings over here, which I believe we could do. Amsterdam has got the cardinal back. I believe we could do it. Huh. Be a bit tough to take on all of these guys at the same time, though. Uh, who was the other one? Württemberg. You're a tech behind. And Trent was the other one, wasn't it? Trent's a long way away. 2k troops and a tech behind. Whoa, um... It's actually tempting. This is this is a really tempting war. Um, because if I declare here, Trent is probably going to be able to make its way somehow. Uh, Württemberg possibly. Ah, Liège will help as well. Ah, this is this is the spinner. Uh, Liège would help us out. Yeah, that will be much better. I'm going to declare this war. Um, Liège is proving to be an immaculate ally here. They may well decide to break their alliance with me, though, if I were to take this. Uh, this is all going to be for one province, but I'm going to declare this war, and I'm going to call in Liège. Um... Oh, hang on. 
I should probably bring this home as well. The reason is, is because Scotland has heavies. And they will beat me. Okay, right. So declare war. Uh, call in the edge. Let's go for it. Right, immediately walk into here. Uh, we still have the defensive edict. Oh no, we have local development here now. Uh, right, so we have this. We're at war with Verdun again, despite the fact that they like me. Uh, I, were, oh, I was thinking about building a spy network, but actually, we don't really need to. It's only a level 1 fort over there. We'll grab the Diplotech, because we're massively behind. Um, and yeah, we are being blockaded here. Yeah, I thought so. Right. Can we make our way over there? No, we can't, but that's okay. We're going to get ticking war score here from occupying this province. And if Liège is willing to just stand there for a bit, I don't mind that. Um, da -dun 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 -dun. Uh, withholding, so national tax, curia treasury contribution halved, lose 10 papal influence and lose clergy loyalty, or gain 10 papal influence and gain loyalty. Yeah, why would I not do that? That seems better. Right, we can get to Verdun now, which is great. Okay, so, uh, are we going to be attacking anybody here? No. Um, I think we'll just occupy that province there. Because that will give a significant war score. And we might be able to eventually just peace out, uh, peace out Verdun here. Right, so Liège has co created a couple more troops here. I'm tempted to fight that. <laughs> Why would I not do that? Um, I was tempted to fight that, but... Meh. Yeah, see, so that's already 24% war score. So... I think I might just start sieging here. Uh, <laughs> What's happened over here? You've gone, you've gone after Verdun's army. Uh, France is at war with Brabant. Oh, because you're at war with Brittany, I see. Um, okay, they might make Brabant cancel some of these alliances, which would be quite handy. Uh, I wish I'd have seen that before, but the, to be honest, this is an opportunity to snipe a province here. And also, um, this province here is part of the HRE, but Scotland is not. So this is actually beneficial for the Holy Roman Empire to, to do this. So... Right, who else is in this fight again? Württemberg and Verdun. Okay. Württemberg is here. That's why Liège has gone down there, I think. But I don't know what you're doing now. Oh, you're coming back around here because this army moved in there. Right, I see. Okay. Not confusing at all. Uh, I've got a diplomat kicking around here. Um, just neighbouring countries would be fine. Obviously, cycling through the Allies, uh, happy to do that, and we'll keep doing that. Uh, the advantage of having a few extra nations in here is um, separate pieces for monies, because we're not doing great with monies at the moment, so there'll be separate pieces for cash, which would be nice. Did you force... No, you only forced them to break their alliance with Brittany. That was all you did, which is kind of a shame, actually. Clever on neighbour. Um, yeah, I was slightly worried that maybe England would eventually decide they want this province. Uh, but hey-ho. Uh, so, Württemberg would be the next target, wouldn't it? You're in two wars. Oh, right, because England's just declared on Scotland as well. Right, I see. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they've declared the same war that I've just declared, except they've declared for these holdings over here. So, that, that sort of makes sense. Uh, right, come down here to Württemberg. Once you move out of there... Oh, that's annoying. Um, bring this guy home. Did we... Oh, no, I don't know who we were improving relations with there. Uh, right, Verdun. I want all your cash. And war reparations. Send demand. Okay, excellent. Uh, that allows me to bring these boats into action here because I don't think there are any more countries here that have boats. Apart, oh, Scotland. Crap. I forgot about Scotland. Um, 
So no, we will not bring the votes into action. Uh, election. Uh, right, what do we need here? Military. Yeah, military candidate. Oh, we black flagged. Damn. That's slightly annoying. Uh, right, let's go back to neighbouring countries. We're about to get a claim on Jelra here. More construction cost as well, which is slightly annoying, but oh well. Uh, about to get a claim there, so we've got another diplomat coming home. That's annoying, because uh, we might have had some money to uh, build some buildings. Because there's nothing here, so... Like, marketplaces and temples or churches would have been really good here. Um, because, obviously, we're going to have high base tax. So churches and stuff would be perfect. Uh, right, Liège has gone walkabout over this way. So, let's follow suit. This is our war, after all. Uh, ooh. Uh, that's for military access. Let's go and defend some English provinces. They will be very happy with me for doing this. Uh, also, it's a good chance to beat up some guys down here. Uh, one thing I would say... Yeah, we currently have a military-focused ruler. So, let's chuck him in here. And, uh, yeah, let's let's attack. Uh, right, get to Alençon. You've run over there. Um, go to Maine. Can I, I believe, if I'm right, yes, because this is occupied by Scotland and we're in a war against Scotland, we can de-siege these. Um... So, yeah, let's do that. And we'll go back to threatening countries. Look at how far they're running here. Württemberg has basically gone for a holiday in Spain. <laughs> I don't think they'll be able to go much further than that, though. But we're going to get modifiers here. Look, liberated provinces. Uh, yeah, look at the modifiers coming in here. Uh, this is perfect. Right, we'll walk in down here. We're off for a holiday in southern France as well. <laughs> I think they're trapped here, though. I don't think there's anything they can do here because they're sieging and they're stuck. So, I think we'll just combine our armies and we will charge here. Let's kill both of these. Uh, I'm hoping this will be a stack wipe. Because you've got a tech advantage as well. And they take the terrain penalty from sieging. It is a stack wipe. <laughs> right. Back from our holiday. Look at this. Ugh, yeah, look at that. Liberated province. Plus 25. England would be very, very delighted. Now, here's a question. Uh, despite the fact, obviously, that um, we could potentially separate piece other countries here for more money... Because the fact that England's occupied most of this up here, I think Scotland's going to be quite desperate to get out of this war. So I don't see much point in dragging this on if we can simply take this province. Right, we can't take all the money, I'm afraid. But we can take a fair amount of it. Yeah, there we go. Because that's all we want, isn't it? This one province... It may well be... Oh, my God, we can... <laughs> can you imagine if we took that? Oh, my God. Um, this is Imperial territory. It may well be demanded uh, that it be returned. Um, but I will probably say no. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah, we will send that demand. We'll get out of this war. We'll get the province that we want. We're black flagged here anyway. So let's just come back here. And there's a high chance that Austria will ask for this back. Because this is a country that can be released. So they will demand this back. No doubt about it, they will demand this back. Okay, right. Um, see, I really want to spend some more time developing here. Because it's so cheap. Yeah, let's do a bit more in there. A bit more production. Good. Okay, right. Improve relations, although you're probably still going to demand this back. Because there is a releasable country here, and obviously more princes in the empire is better for the uh, better for the emperor. 
So I think that will be demanded back. Uh, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been myself, Matty Tomato. Be sure to subscribe to follow the series. Join me next time for more from the Random Nation Selector here in EU4. See you later.